So many of you will have seen our video on how to remove redness from the skin. Well, this is a variation on that theme. Thank you to everyone who asked me, can you also do it for things like green coloration? And here's a video to explain how to remove any color tint from a region of your face. I'm Paul, this is Mastering Portrait Photography. Right, so here we go. In this portrait, you can see that the light coming from the left, camera left, is a normal daylight balanced light. It's actually from the sky. And the light from the right, camera right, has green contamination in it. That's because it's coming through foliage. It's coming off leaves and grass and things that are off to the uh, right hand side of the image. And what I'd like to do is balance the image so that the two colors of light, the left hand warm light and the right hand green light, don't make, uh, don't distract in the image. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a hue and saturation layer. And then I'm gonna just make sure I'm uh, working on a different group than the master. So in this instance, I'm just gonna select the reds. I'm gonna click on the eyedropper. I'm just gonna click here in the cheekbone where I can clearly see there is some green contamination. Um, that will create this area here on my um, slider, which is defining the area that is gonna be affected by my Changes, I'm gonna whack the hue across so that I can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna push up the saturation as well. So you can see at the moment, it's affecting the whole of um, Sarah's face here. But if I just reduce all of these um, sliders here, so it's a much narrower band, like so. You can see now all it's doing is it's only affecting or it's starting to only affect the areas that are contaminated with green. Now I can move this up and down so it changes different bits of the image. And this is for any contamination color. So if you're working with reds, so you're trying to get the reds out of the skin, it's exactly the same process. So I'm just gonna just tighten that up a little bit. It's about right. It's a little bit tricky to do this. I find it quite hard to make sure the mouse is in the middle, um, or rather Adobe make it quite hard to make sure the mouse is in the middle. And now you can see quite clearly, I think, that I'm really only um, affecting the areas that have green contamination. Um, if I want to change the hue, I can show it in different colors, just whatever works for you. So you can see the green areas in the image or the green contaminated areas in the image. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring that saturation back down and then very gently, I'm gonna wind this hue slider back to zero, which is where it started, and then gently move it across in this instance to the left until all of the colors start to blend. Now if I wanna see which areas it's affecting, what I can do, is push up that saturation layer or saturation slider rather all the way and that will give me an idea of what's going on and then I can bring it back down and um, when I'm doing this usually I'll just have a little bit of saturation dialed back in um, because when I take the green out it can sometimes look a little bit flat and then it's going to make sure that that's about there it looks about right to me I've left a little bit of the green in the hair and maybe if I want to just open that up a little I can just adjust this slider here. And you just adjust it until it's affecting all the areas you want. I'm just gonna make sure that saturation is okay. That's good, it looks about right to me. And that's it, there you have it. Um, that's how to do it for the overall image. But what I then need to do is make sure that the mask um, on this human saturation layer is only affecting the skin tones. So um, with a uh, normal, white on the foreground, black on the background, I'm gonna hold down command or control and delete, which will fill the mask with black, which means it is now doing nothing. And then with a soft brush, I'm gonna paint in, in white on that mask, the areas that I want that hue and saturation change to affect. You can actually be quite loose with this. It's not a big problem because remember, um, I've already isolated the slider uh, to only affect the greens or the greens around the skin tone. And so I'm just painting in here, just making sure all the areas that I want, and there's a little bit on the hair over here, wasn't it? I was doing some green foliage, just affecting that area there. And just under the eye, make sure all of that. So if I turn that off, you can see it goes green, turn it back on. Now, if I want to make sure that um, everything's working the way it should, again, I can just go back to here, go to the yellows, which is the um, part of the uh, hue saturation I was affecting, turn up the saturation, I'm just gonna make sure it's here, um, painting it in just to make sure I've caught everything, anything I might not have seen, so I get a nice smooth transition. There we go, just like that. 
I might just move. Again, back to the yellows. Might just move that a little bit there. That's good. Then I can bring that saturation down just to sort of three or four, somewhere around there. There you have it, all done. So if I turn that off, you can see it's green. Turn it back on, you can see that I have adjusted all of the colours. It's that simple. You can use it for any colour contamination, whether it's colour bouncing off a coloured wall, whether it's the green of a grass or hedges, whether it's the red in the skin tone. This is how you do it. For more videos like this, please head over to masteringportraitphotography.com, which is absolutely full of ideas and techniques for everything we love about portrait photography. Take care. Thank you.